Hello YouTube. I hope everybody is doing fine. Today I have a few new things that I made. And uh, first I want to get this out of the way. I did receive the 7 inch capacitive touch IPS display from Banggood. And it comes in this box as you see. I did unpack it and I did connect it to my laptop and uh, this is how it looks like from the back. This is just a, f a short intro, I will make a proper video, I just wanted to show you how it does come and it comes with a regular HDMI cable. Uh, about 80 centimeters long. It does come with a micro USB cable for powering it uh, and or for the touch display. It does come with a s adapter. This is HDMI to uh, probably mini HDMI. I don't even sure what it is. It comes with some mounting screws and spacers and that was it so i tried it and it's absolutely it's it's gorgeous and this will be my touch controller for my cnc lathe so if you're interested and want to see it please do subscribe and hit that notification bell if you did not already so you can be notified when i get the update or make the proper uh, review video so I wanted to show you what did I show you I wanted to show you first this I bought a prism and uh, it just makes this I'm not sure if it's gonna be uh, if it makes justice on the video but it just uh, it's gorgeous and obviously you can just don't use it and use the clock like this well not like that because i have to mirror the image on the display so it will essentially show correctly on the prism because it's mirrored and you can see this thing uh, is made out of two prisms and then glued together optical glass uh, quite expensive and uh, what I also did is modify the front part of the display uh, of the 3D printed case and I made so it has a small lip where the um, prism sits in and as soon as I find some way to glue it down here with double sided tape with clear double sided tape so I can put it on here so it won't get knocked away and what I loops what I figured also is uh, although this runs 13 hours plus on a battery charge I have this wireless charging pad and coil which does fit perfectly into my ice cube case so I will put this on the bottom and then just place it on to a wireless charging pad and have wireless charging with it and I'm also planning to make a GPS version with that with the mirrored uh, display and that you could use in the car if you like to so my other thing that I did well I want to I did show this before this is my new version of my GPS tracker and it has this small chip on here which is a timer chip specifically the TPL 5110 there are two versions out there 5110 and 5111 this is the 5110 which controls a P channel MOSFET to turn off whatever comes behind it and it has a sleep current of 35 nano amps, not micro, nano. And it's absolutely amazing. I just, I love this chip. And um, 
the the other one, the 51 TPL5111 has an enable output and with that enable output you can uh, control uh, LDO for example and but the problem is if you use not, not, not a problem but if you use that you have still a steep current of the LDO that you're uh, wasting this one cuts off the uh, P channel MOSFET and nothing comes after that so anyway this is my newest tracker and with the chip and you can oh, adjust the timer interval well the reason why I did this is because a customer of mine wanted a long-lasting GPS tracker which recorded only up to six hours and unfortunately this chip goes only up to two hours so every two hours it turns on waits till it gets a signal records it and then turns it off via a done pin via done control pin that goes from the 328 chip to the timer chip and then it shuts off it goes to sleep so that's the reason why i made this or use this chip and here you can adjust the time interval uh, normally you can adjust f from 100 milliseconds up to two hours here i reduce the gap uh, between uh, 18 minutes to two hours but of course it can be well it can be adjusted it's minimum 20 minutes up to maximum two hours which can be adjusted here with the trim part with this little guy and um, actually I also wanted to show you the size of it because I do have small hands and everything in the video looks bigger not my hands but uh, anyway I wanted to measure things from now on so you know exactly what it is this one is actually 20 millimeters square I'm just getting a phone call I have to wait and uh, it is uh, about 17 millimeters thick and for you imperial guys uh, it is uh, six, six, eighth, six, eighth of an inch, I think. <laughs> so anyway, that's the size. And what I did the other day is I wanted to have a battery indication. Um, I did not include it in this code, but uh, technically I could. Um, I wanted a way to tell how much uh, voltage the battery has with the not so secret internal volt voltmeter from the uh, Atmega328 chip and I just wanted to show you here I made the code so it runs in the setup and then it, you can do whatever you want in loop so when you plug it in it blinks this one three times and then nine times I know because I counted it so this battery has a current voltage of 3.9 volt and this battery oops took the part out here this one is fully charged and will show 4.2 3 4 1 2 and then you can run your loop I do it again plug it in one two three four four point two volts and this obviously works if you do not have a LDO and you're running your uh, 328 chip on battery without using a LDO like I said so if you do have an LDO this one has this is actually the same board here if you do have an LDO you have to hold this correctly so I won't damage it three point three volts as it has an LDO and that's it all it can measure one two three point three volts um 
obviously as you saw on this PCB this one has 4.2 but it shows only the voltage that it's driven with to measure the battery voltage this PCB is not set up for that but you can obviously uh, do that uh, use a voltage divider and then use your one of your analog inputs and measure the voltage and then it will show the correct voltage what you saw here is it started again because it has a timer chip I'm not sure it's about one or two minutes and then currently it doesn't sleep and then it wakes up and then goes to the uh, voltage measurement so if you do have an LDO it shows 3.3 .3, but uh, the brownout set on these chips I have it at 2.7 volts and they do go down that way or that low so you will be able to see once it goes down to 3.1 volts 3.2 2.19 2.8 or whatever you will still be able to see how much voltage you have in there but obviously the better way oh the well the better way is of course to measure it with the analog input but you don't have to if you have if you're running your that mega chip with oops this way if you're running it on direct battery voltage then it will obviously show the correct voltage so and uh, this is by the way as far as I know the world's smallest at mega 328 board with the timer chip you can buy these timer chips as a module but they're about this even a little bit bigger than this whole board and they're only the timer chips but you have if you have your own a mega una board or esp board or whatever you can of course use those modules and um, time them and put them to sleep and uh, i saw some um, youtube reviewers mention the chip and more, more or less saying well it's you can put that mega itself to sleep and whatever yes you can for eight seconds that is eight seconds and then it does wake up again and with this chip you can put it to sleep for two hours obviously if you don't need it that high you, you don't have to use it or you can just uh, use the deep sleep of the 328 or the deep sleep of any ESP32 module um, but I do like it and for this purpose it was just the right thing to do you can use this board obviously also for something else if you don't want to have it as a tracker it does actually have also a db18 uh, db I always mix it up it's a temperature sensor you could use this as a temperature logger and um, log your temperature put it to steep and it will run for a very very long time obviously for that you will have uh, this PCB with the micro SD card which then gets connected here if it's not the GPS track if it's just a regular uh, logger if you have the GPS then you get the GPS module on the back here so I think uh, this was it today I have my new PCBs uh, probably or most likely coming in tomorrow tomorrow's Friday so I will be busy for the weekend and can make new stuff but I I really like this code and I'm um, the only similar code I found was that measured either below a certain voltage between a voltage with slow blinking between a voltage uh, fast blinking and then above the voltage I don't remember what it was exactly and above it if it's full a steady light on but I like this better because it tells you down to one decimal uh, what your battery voltage is and uh, for anything that doesn't have a display um, you can use it very easily to indicate how much voltage it is in the startup and then it runs the loop whatever your code may be so every time you turn it on you can control if your battery is still full how much full and uh, go from there 
So this is it. I will put that code on my GitHub link. I do have a link for my Tindy store, for my Thingiverse uh, 3D printed stuff that I shared. And I have a GitHub also, not much on it, uh, if anything at all, but do, I do have a GitHub, I have set it up. And I will put that code for the voltage, uh, for the single LED voltmeter on there. And uh, I would really appreciate if you do subscribe and share my videos and um, hit the notification bell. And you can also uh, sponsor me if you like it on my Patreon page. And you can also uh, use any of my affiliate links for Banggood stuff. This display was, by the way, sent by Banggood. So, this is it. So I made this video because over the weekend I will probably make more videos. So I wanted to get this out there. Uh, thanks for watching and take care everybody.